Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is v &A Strike. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today I'm gonna tell you my favorite products of the month. I have some beauty, some skincare, some hair care, and some clothing. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and that you find it helpful. If you do like this video, please make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so let's get into it. I have so many products to show you guys. I'm very excited about it, but we do have a sponsor today. I'm so, so excited to be telling you guys that this portion of the video is sponsored by Lily Silk. It is also one of my favorites and it has to do with what I'm wearing. So first let me tell you guys just a little bit about Lily Silk as a company and then I'll show you guys some of my favorite products that I've been testing out. So Lily Silk is obviously a silk company and they only use 100% natural premium materials like mulberry silk and and Mongolian cashmere. They do keep their products clean and toxin free with the O-E-K-O-T-E-X certification. They never stop innovating. They are proud of their revolutionary natural gold silk collection and their unique 100% charmeuse silk range with elasticity, which is a game changer in the silk industry. Something else awesome about them is that they are zero waste. They're working with the TerraCycle, the world-known recycling company that they're committed for zero waste production. And the fabric remains are used to make accessories such as silk eye masks and scrunchie. Their silk is sourced from mulberry trees which require less water than cotton to grow and they do produce items that are made with natural fibers instead of synthetic. Lily Silk has everything you can imagine with silk so they do provide an affordable investment pieces with a wide production range like blouses, pajamas, pillowcases, bedding, sets and more. They also have a large range of colors and sizes. So I've actually been testing out a bunch of their products including the shirt, the pajamas, the scrunchies as well as pillowcases. Here is a silk pillowcase and it has so many benefits. They actually make our skin less prone to sleep wrinkles. It is also less likely than cotton to have resistance against the face. Unlike cotton, it's actually more absorbent so it helps retain natural moisture in our skincare. As most of you guys know, it helps lessen hair breakage and frizz because the material does not conduct static electricity and it does allow hair to slide on the pillow. And it actually doesn't attract dust mites so it's good for people with sensitive skin. And my favorite part is that it conducts the temperature, it's a regulator. So to me, when I use it, I always have like a cool pillow and I love a cool pillow like a cold pillow so here's a shirt that I'm actually wearing in this video this is called the long sleeve colored silk blouse and it is 90% mulberry silk with 10% spandex stretchable it is a regular fit it is wrinkle free with a curved hem with a staple shirt like this you can dress it up or down and it can be like a fun outfit as well as a professional one I absolutely have been wearing the heck out of mine so these are the pajamas these are called the 22 mom full-length silk pajama sets I did get the shade rosy pink again they have so many shades to choose from from neutrals to really bright colors so this is a 22 mom charmeuse silk glossy smooth finish it does have notch lapels silk wrap buttons and it has an elastic waistband for the drawstring these are really nice they feel really soft on the skin they feel really cooling and it just feels luxurious to sleep in a nice pair of silk pajamas and then these are actually really cute so these are the scrunchies as you can see there's four different sizes it's called the four pack different silk hair scrunchie set these are made with high grade silk it is smooth and glossy again four different sizes so depending on what kind of look you are going for they work really well not only do they look cute but they also are better for your hair just like the pillowcase so this will cause less breakage less frizz and I also think that these silk scrunchies look really good on the wrist so it can be an accessory as you can see the packaging is absolutely beautiful that's a whole nother experience in itself it is eco-friendly packaging and the brand also offers really exquisite gift box packaging which is perfect for things like Mother's Day that is coming up. I do have a discount code for you guys. It is not affiliate, it's just to get you some coin off. So it is actually VNA12 for 12% off. So make sure you use the code if you guys are gonna be shopping. I will link everything down below that I tried, everything that I showed you guys, and as well as their best sellers with my coupon code. Thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring this part of the video. Let's get into some more favorites. Let's start out with skincare. I wanted to highlight the sunscreen. I'm not going to lie. I was this close to gatekeeping, but I'm actually just going to buy a backup before I post this video. So this is my new favorite sunscreen. This is the sunscreen invisible gel moisturizes and protect SPF 40 from Kroger. Here in Houston, Texas, we have a Kroger 
and this is actually, it literally says on the packaging, it is compared to the active ingredients of Supergoop SPF 40 unseen sunscreen. So this I love. I actually haven't tried um, the Supergoop line at all. This is awesome. I'm actually wearing it underneath my makeup. This makeup, it is currently 3.45 p.m. I've been wearing this makeup since 8 a.m. and I went to church, I went out to eat, and I also put this under the makeup and it didn't disrupt it at all. I really like it. It does separate a little bit, so I just shake it, but a little bit goes such a long way. And this is what it looks like. And it has absolutely no white cast. I guess if you've tried the Super Goop, I'm guessing it's just like that but it spreads out like this, and it kind of feels like a silicone primer. If you hate the feeling of that, then you're probably not gonna like this, but I don't mind because it's very interesting. It almost like adds some like hydration to the skin, but while smoothing it out, it almost smooths out my pores. So I've been using it every single day by itself, but also as a primer, and it works really nice. I will say the only thing, um, it is silicone-y, but it's also, I don't want to say greasy, but I don't know how much you would like it if you do have super oily skin. I will say though, my husband has oily skin and he liked it, so it really just depends. But I really enjoyed it. It's $10 and you get three fluid ounces. I'm pretty sure the uh, Super Goop one is $37 for one ounce. So yeah, if you do have a Kroger near you or you can buy it online, you definitely should and it's an SPF 40, so we love that. Okay, so the next favorite, um, I've talked about this many times. I was actually sponsored by them years ago, but because I have a lot of new subscribers, I've been getting a lot of questions about my lashes. Now, I always link this in my description, but a lot of you guys do miss it and comment and ask me. So this is what I use on my lashes. I've been using it for years and I love it. So this is the Grande Lash MD lash enhancing serum I recently got this from PR from them but I've been using them and buying them for years so this is literally just an eyelash serum that you apply um, every single night I like to do it every other night just because my lashes are long because of it so I just kind of um, maintain my lashes but if you are starting out definitely do it every night they do have directions on it and everything but it pretty much is like a clear um, liner and you just put it on your lashes and go to bed so this is what I use I love it I've seen such great results and I've never had any issues with it it doesn't burn my eyes and this is just what I use it is um, I believe $65 but it lasts a long time this is a three-month supply once you finish your first tube you really won't need to put it on every single night so I do it every other night so this lasts me about six months so worth the money so much more affordable than a lot of other products so i just wanted to say if you are new here this is my go-to product for making my lashes look longer and fuller this is what it looks like i will obviously link it down below but it is my tried and true if you guys haven't seen my hair care video like my favorite hair care products uh, I'll put it right here and down below. I was talking about how I actually use a hair mask instead of conditioner because I only wash my hair twice a week and so I just take that time to use a hair mask and I found a new favorite. I still love the Shea Moisture one, but this is awesome. Um, it is in my shower and it was wet, so I'll pop a picture right here. This is the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. It literally has five stars with 12,000 reviews on Ulta. It is $15, but you do get 16.9 fluid ounces. It's a huge tub is that it treats uh, dry hair it is a way to make your hair shiny healthier looking free of sulfates parabens key ingredients argan oil vitamins a c and e and it also has plant protein long story short it smells amazing amazing it's nice and like thick it feels like a very thick conditioner and so it's really easy to really spread around the hair you only need to leave it for two to five minutes you don't even need to leave it for like at least 10 minutes and it detangles the hair and I'm telling you guys it I mean this is some dirty hair this is I mean I did use it last time I washed it but this is some dirty hair but it makes your hair so soft so shiny it helps the split ends look better it has plant protein i mean it's so nice and it's so affordable and you get a lot of product and it smells good and it's free from all the sulfates and parabens so if you're looking for a new hair mask try this one okay moving on to some makeup i have a couple products that i've been loving so first let's talk about the foundation that i'm wearing now i actually have a sample because 
I have officially found my wedding foundation and yes, I will do a video. I am doing my own makeup for my wedding and I am gonna film that video to show you guys, but um, I'm, I need to buy the full size. But the foundation that I'm wearing right now is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I do have the shade beige on. This is what it looks like. It's amazing. I wore this foundation, I've worn it like five times already and I've been kind of putting it through the ringer to see how good it is. I was worried that it would be too dry for me, but I moisturized really good and I also put on the um, Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops as a primer and I set it with some spray and it's not drying. It looks flawless. Again, I've been wearing this makeup since 8 a.m. It is now 4 p.m. And it looks amazing. I wore it at my bridal shower, which means I put it on around 8 a.m. And this is what my skin looked like at 5 p.m. This is with a ring light, and then this is on natural light with no touch-ups and a lot of sweating and laughing and hugging and eating. It just looks so good and a little bit goes a long way. Honestly, I don't even need to buy the full size because this sample has lasted me so much, but I will buy the full size. Um, this is what the foundation looks like. It is high end, it is pricey, but in my opinion, it is worth it. So I will be wearing it at my wedding, which is so exciting. Something else that I've been wearing that I will be also wearing at my wedding is this powder. So I finally caved and bought the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking Powder. I didn't get the uh, Cherry Blossom because it was sold out, but I did get the shade Pound Cake, and it looks like this. So it's kind of like a lighter um, cream. It's not too yellow. It almost looks like it would be like a translucent powder, but it does have some pigment to it. And it is also what I'm wearing on my skin. So I noticed that um, this will kind of dry out your skin, I'm not gonna lie. If you do have oily skin, you're probably gonna love it. I have normal to dry skin, and I do notice that as soon as I apply it, my under eyes look crepey. Um, my go-to powder for every day is the Kosas Cloud Set. I'm more of a, like a light setter, but I've been testing this out for my wedding for longevity. So, like I mentioned, I do set my face and it does look dry a little bit, but once I rehydrate my skin with like a Fix Plus or a setting spray, it comes back to life and over the time, my skin looks great because if I'm like sweating or maybe getting a little oily here and there, um, it doesn't look dry anymore. As you can see, like my skin doesn't look dry because it really does control the makeup and I really, really like it. I will say the only thing, it has a very strong scent. Um, it does smell really good, but if you don't like fragrance, stay away from this. But I do think it's really nice. Give it a chance for longevity. I really think this is gonna photograph really well at my wedding. Let's talk about some blushes real quick. So really quickly, I have been loving the Koki Cosmetics Gradient Blushes. If you guys watched my dupes video, I actually duped the whole Patrick Ta blush palette with these blushes. like to the T. Um, these are just great. They have different shades, they're gradients, so you can kind of customize them and you get a lot of different blushes for one. They're a nice formula. Like I said, you can kind of customize it and they look really pretty and they're drugstore. And I have a coupon code. So if you guys want these blushes, I do have a 25% coupon code. So these are really cute. And then uh, a new cream blush favorite is actually from Undone Beauty. So this is the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette. It is a three in one color cream. So if you guys haven't heard of these, um, there's actually three levels of intensity from high to low. I don't really pay attention to that. I kind of just grab my brush and then put it on. But if you do care about the intensity, that's really cool. I have the shade Flare and it was the blush that I was wearing before I put this on top. So this is really nice. It is dewy, but it's not greasy, and so it will work if you have oily skin too. It's like a thicker uh, cream. It's not like super slip and slidey, and the shade is beautiful, and it's super pigmented, and I love it. Really quickly, talking about Undone Beauty, I just wanna give a shout out to the bronzer. I've also been loving this. This is called their Warm Me Up Bronzer. I have the shade 550, and it is just, a huge bronzer with everything you need. It has this like cool tone, deeper contour shade, this nice warm bronzer shade, uh, a champagne rose gold type of highlight, and then a yellow gold type of highlight. So 
You can use them separately for your full face or you can mix them together for a very glowy bronzer. It has a really nice formula. It's very pigmented but also very blendable and it's a huge pan and it's a more on the affordable side. It is kind of like mid-range, but you do get a lot of product for your money. So I've been really, really loving this. I also have this bronzer on and I love it. Okay, so the last products I have, I actually have a couple lip products. So first I do wanna give a huge shout out to these products. So these are the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink. I have the shade Wicked as well as Koi. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I do sometimes put some videos showing you guys products that I've been loving. These are awesome. They are liquid vinyl lipsticks. So it is like, um, kind of like the NYX Shine Loud lipsticks, the ones that don't transfer, but these are way better. They have a better formula. They don't look crusty. Um, they do look like vinyl at first, but once you do start like doing things or like doing like a kiss test you do lose the shine of like the glossiness but it still has a little bit of shine it does it's not a matte product and it lasts a really long time you can use it by itself without a lip liner or you can dab it on with your finger with a lip liner either way it looks beautiful and they last a long time they're not uncomfortable love these and they're also very affordable if you do want the matte liquid lipstick look without the feel, then look no further than this. So this is the MAC Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color. I have the shade The More The Merrier. Again, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I already showed you guys this, but this is very cool. This is like a liquid cream lipstick that looks completely matte, velvety, and powdery, but it doesn't dry down. So if you love the look of a matte lip, you love that velvety look, no shine, and it makes your lips look really nice, but not crusty or dry or tight, then try this. This is going to transfer because it doesn't dry down, but it feels amazing and it looks amazing without the tightness or crustiness um, of a liquid lipstick that is matte. So this is really, really nice. I love this. And then lastly, um, another, I have a lot of high-end products in this video. Are you guys proud of me? I'm still a drugstore queen, but I've just been trying a lot more products for you guys. I have been loving this. I've been wearing this literally every day. This is the new Refi Lip Sculpt in the shade Fawn. So these are interesting. They're lip liners and really, really pretty. This shade Fawn kind of looks like what I'm wearing right now. And it does come on the same bottle with a sealer. So it kind of feels and looks kind of like a silicone. And so what you do is you put on your lip liner, this one right here, and then you put this on on top and it makes the lip liner transfer proof. Um, I will say you do have like a silicone on your lips and it takes a while to dry, but it's not uncomfortable. What I've been doing is lining my lips with this, putting on a lipstick and then adding like the topper on top and it keeps my makeup on, like my lipstick. So I'm also thinking about maybe wearing this at my wedding. It really just depends. I mean, honestly, maybe I could mix these two. I have to see. The only thing with these is that you do have to be careful because um, if you put a lot of this product on, like the sealer, or if you don't let it dry before you start like putting your lips together, it can tend to ball up. So it just kind of mess with it, but it does work. What it claims, it does work. So I've been really liking this. Um, I've been wearing this for a while. And again, the shade Fawn is beautiful. Alrighty guys, so that is it. Those are my monthly favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed them. Like always, I will link everything down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And if you guys haven't entered my giveaway, what are you doing? Go enter it. I will put it right here and down below. And yeah, thank you guys for another amazing month here on YouTube. I love you guys so much and thanks again for letting me take sponsorships. It means a lot. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.